Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. If you are returning and if you are new, welcome. My name is Victoria. We typically do unboxings for BoxyCharm primarily and uh, lots of beauty related stuff on my channel. So today, as you can probably tell from the title, we have our BoxyCharm base box for the month of October. This is um, the $25 a month subscription. And we are gonna jump into all the goodies. Before we get started though, just wanna do a quick little um, explanation of how I kinda do my unboxings on my channel. They're kinda like a mini review first impressions because I typically am wearing everything in the box and I've tried everything at least once. So I can kinda give you my initial feelings, see if maybe it's worth the price, if it's worth it. Um, Cause I kinda go into my thoughts after I describe each item. So uh, this month I am uh, really liking this box. I'm wearing uh, everything pretty much. I used everything that's in the box. So let's go ahead and get started and see the goodies we got for the month of October. Alrighty guys, so every month you're gonna get a card with a little bit of a theme for that particular month. Uh, this month it's a Spellbound. There's some nice little candles on it, uh, little spooky vibes. I don't really necessarily get that from the box, but I think it's just cute. The themes don't always necessarily have to do with what you get. Um, now there are different variations you can get on the base box and there's a number on the back of the card as well as a list of all the products and the explanations and descriptions of the products. Um, I'm variation number 11 this month. So what we're gonna do, um, I kind of have switched how I do my filming rather than holding up the item and showing you. Um, I pre-filmed all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop in the footage for each product. Okay, our first item is a Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. This highlighting skincare and makeup hybrid visibly brightens skin and delivers an effortless glow while helping reduce hyperpigmentation. The Niacinamide Infused Serum is formulated with, without mica, glitter, or pearls. It creates a lightweight, buildable texture that quickly absorbs, making it suitable for all skin types. Used as a hydrating highlighting serum before moisturizer or as a last step of your routine. This retails for $34. All right, guys, now I will say that I really like Glow Recipe. This is the serum, um, and this smells amazing. It smells like watermelon. If any of you have used Glow Recipe products in the past, then you know that everything that they are labeled that to smell like, like they smell like that. Um, this is my second watermelon product. I have a sleeping mask I got probably like a year and a half ago from, from Glow Recipe. Um, absolutely in love with this now the way i use this today is um it does have a very gel clear consistency i will go ahead and put it on the back of my hand um i used it as a like kind of like a primer for my moisturizer there are several different ways you can use it it does come out clearish kind of pink it's like a gel consistency very kind of watery not sticky or tacky smells amazing i don't know if you can tell it gives a little bit of a glow to my hand there you go Oh, smells like the most refreshing watermelon. I love it. I put it, uh, one pump on my face before my moisturizer, and then I did my whole foundation. Now, it does say on the back of the box, there's several different ways you can wear it. Um, for a maximum glow, apply one to two pumps as the last step of your makeup routine. When wearing makeup, evenly distribute formula on fingertips and gently pat on the high points of the face in a tapping motion on top of your makeup. For a glossy eye look, dab a pea-sized amount to the center of the eyelid and blend out. Now for a more natural glow, this is what I did, you can use one pump before moisturizer to get a long-lasting glowing result, or apply one to two pumps as a last step of your skincare routine before you do your makeup, or mix one to two pumps with your foundation for a glowy finish. So there's a lot of different ways you can wear it. Basically, the way I can describe it is like a luminizer, liquid highlighter but it's not a highlighter there's no mica no pearl like i read from the description it's just a niacinamide that gives it that sheen um so i mean i feel i am wearing highlighter on my face too but i do feel like my face looks a little more glowy um so yeah i really like it i love glow recipe i think it's a great product i know they're a little pricey but it definitely smells amazing super happy to have that product this is the Tresluce Beauty I Am Alma Set. This complete eye set that includes everything you need for an eye-catching look. The I Am Alma palette features a combination of six matte and shimmer shades from the I Am Shadow palette, and it's the perfect on-the-go travel size. The set also includes a pair of beautiful vegan reusable lashes, 
complimentary for every eye size. The MSRP on this particular set is $25. These are the lashes. This is the glue. And an up close look at the palette. Three mattes, three shimmers. Beautiful shades, and there is a mirror. All right guys, so as you can probably tell, uh, my eyes are a little louder than normal because I'm wearing those lashes. Those lashes are beautiful. Um, I love them. They're very loud and dramatic. This, um, the Tres Luce line is by Becky G, who is a Latin music artist, and I think now she's like doing influencers, influencer stuff. Um, I looked her up a little. She's super adorable, beautiful girl. Um, this is her makeup launch. So it says new to BoxyCharm, but her makeup line is also brand new. These six colors were pulled out of a bigger palette, which I believe is like 18 colors. For BoxyCharm, she had two different palettes. I I got the more greenish one. I'm gonna get this a little closer. Of course, I've already used it now. Tonight, I did a look using all three of these neutrals. Um, the green in the center, I did a halo eye, and then I highlighted with this really pretty, it's kind of hard to see, super, super shiny, um, like awesome, like silvery white. It's very pretty. Um, and then I put on the lashes, and I'm glad that that little set actually came with the glue too. I don't wear lashes a lot, I'm actually going out tonight, so this kind of worked out. I'm going to get just a little closer and show you how dramatic the lashes are. <laughs> and then also the look that I came up with. So, um, very shiny. The shimmers are great. The, the color payoff is really good. I love that green. I'm a big fan of a green look. Uh, these lashes are really big. <laughs> um, they're fine. Um, I don't know if you could tell from the initial picture when I held them up close. Um, the band is kind of thick. That's good and that's bad because with a thicker band, it has more glue to hold on to so they're more secure on your eye. Like these don't feel like they're going anywhere. They're really on there. Um, but also with thicker bands, they kind of make them a little heavier and they kind of feel like there's something on your eye. So I definitely feel them. But they look fun and great. But the palette is really good. It's a perfect travel size. There's some neutrals, the pops, the colors, really good quality. Loving the lashes. And um, actually, the next product is another Trust Lucid product, so let's jump into that. And this next item is also from Trust Lucid Beauty. It's the Like an Artista brush set. Pack on the pigment or blend as much as you need. Professional quality, vegan mixed texture fibers make it easy to perfect your ideal eye look. The set includes the B100 Deluxe Blending Brush, the B101 Classic Blending, B102 Angled Blending, and B121 Rounded Pencil Brush. The set is $27. Slightly more up close look at the brushes you get. And they are this nice soft touch, beautiful shade of blue. Alrighty guys, so here are the brushes. They The blue shade that she went with for her items, for her packaging, is stunning. I love this deep blue. And, as I mentioned in the video a second ago, the little snippet, um, these are like the soft touch, so they're kind of like rubbery, so nice grip. Um, these brushes worked great. I've used them all for this look. However, I noticed because they're vegan, maybe it's because they're vegan, um, they're a little rougher, more coarse than some of the, the softer synthetic brushes I have. It doesn't make them bad or anything. Um, I mean, cause they're obviously synthetic too, but um, you can kind of tell by looking up close that they're just a little, they're not as soft as some of the other brushes I've used, but they worked great. I used all four of them for the look tonight. Um, and yeah, they're, I'm happy. I'm always happy to have more brushes. I like that this is, um, a beautiful, nice little matching set. So works great with her powders, with her shadows and beautiful, beautiful coloring. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get to the next product. Um, kind of mixed feelings about it, but let's go ahead and take a look at what it is and then I'll share my thoughts. Next up, we have the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Multi-Use Makeup Base Sticks. A cream-based multi-use makeup stick that can be used on the eyelids or as an eyeshadow uh, primer to your eyeshadow. Can also be used on the bottom lash line, waterline, brow bone, or lips. The perfect duo to be used together or separately. Retails for $20. Now the two shades, the two shades I received are Hip Hop and Jazz. I'm going to go ahead and swatch. Hip Hop is definitely a... Uh, skin toned like cream. This one I'm going to use as a primer. Very matte, very creamy, but it looks kind of like a concealer, honestly. 
And then this is the Jazz, and this is a beautiful, kind of like coppery color. Look how creamy and shiny that is. So I will say the Hip Hop shade was a total fail. I tried to use it on my lids as a primer. I guess when I swatched it, I thought it was way creamier than it was, but when I put it on my lids, it was way too dry. I tried to smear it with a concealer brush. It was not working. I used my finger thinking the heat from my finger would work good. It didn't do anything. I actually ended up taking it off what I'd already put on and uh, not using it. I used my uh, Clean Canvas Eye Base from Gerard Cosmetics for uh, priming my lids for under my eyeshadow. Uh, but now I did use the shade Jazz. So yeah, Hip Hop was a fail. <laughs> um, I did use the shade Jazz and you saw me swatch it. It's this really pretty coppery color. Um, it's a multicolored makeup stick. So I use it on my lips. Um, I use my, probably one of my absolute favorite Kat Von D shades. Let me grab it here. Um, in the shade Nosferatu, it's a liquid lipstick. It's a nice dark red. I wear it a lot when I go out, like for my vampy looks. Um, let it dry down, and then I went ahead and put this like in the center and kind of smeared it with my finger. Now this is way creamier. Maybe it's because it's like a metallic shade. I don't know. Um, and I made, I, I wouldn't say it was an ombre look. It was meant to like highlight the center. And it gave a nice metallic sheen. It made my Nosferatu, instead of being a matte dark red, to like a, almost like a metallic kind of like, like vampier red? Vampier, that's not a word. Anyway, the combo together were great. So I do like the jazz stick. Um, and the packaging was super cute. I mean, it looks like a little boom box. So good job on the packaging. Terrible execution on the hip hop. Maybe it's cause it's matte, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna get any use out of that, guys, um, to be completely honest. But I really do like this stick and I definitely could use it for some eye looks too. So like, like that I was able to create this makeup, this lip look with the stick. All right, guys, so it's time for the last product. And our final product is the Jula Makeup Remover Towelettes. Simplify your routine with these two-in-one wipes that gently remove makeup and impurities while refining pores and toning skin with witch hazel, glycerin, and olive oil. Swipe cloth across skin to gently remove all makeup, even waterproof mascara, without tugging or pulling. No need to rinse. Suitable for all skin types, especially oily and acne prone. 100% biodegradable. MSRP on this is $20, and this is a new launch from Jula Beauty. This is a nice package. It's 60 towelettes. Now, I did use one tonight. Um, well, I, I'm one of those people who likes to, like, I hate getting makeup smudges and fingerprints on my palettes and on my packaging. So, like, I always have either, like, a wet paper towel or some sort of a cloth to wipe my fingers. Like, I'm constantly wiping my fingers clean when I'm doing my makeup. I just, I have to. It's just a thing. I'm a little OCD. Whatever. It's fine. Um... This is all I'm going to use this for. I used it tonight when I was doing my makeup and I was, especially when I wiped off that, that primer that didn't work. Uh, this got it off beautifully. It's very soft. It smells really nice and fresh. Very like makeup-y, cosmetic-y, but like a light scent. They are, I like that they're 100% biodegradable. I don't typically use makeup wipes because I don't like the environmental impact that they have. Um, I don't like using things that are one-time use if I can avoid it. Um, so I do use a lot of washable cloths and the makeup removing um, cloths that are washable. That's basically what I just said. <laughs> and the little cotton pads that you can use again and again and wash them. Um, so, I mean, I'm not mad that I got this. I would never buy this, um, but there's 60 in here. They're biodegradable, they smell nice, they take off the makeup nice, they got my little fingers clean while I was making uh, my look tonight. So I'm definitely gonna use them. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm also not one to use them to take off my makeup. I have to, especially on a night like tonight when I'm wearing so much makeup, I have to double cleanse at the end of the night. Um, I can't trust a makeup wipe to take off the makeup on my face. That's just how I feel. All right, guys, so that's everything in this month's box. I overall was very happy with the box. I'm super excited about the Tresluce launch. Um, really like the palette, um, really like the brushes. I'm super excited about the glow recipe. Um, digging this little stick here. Uh, sorry that one didn't work out. Um, and then the white. So yeah, I mean, overall it was a nice box. So uh, I am gonna have some upcoming content, some updates to BoxyCharm. 
as well as another new subscription that I started subscribing to. I know, I know, I might have a problem. Um, but I'm gonna go all into that into another video, which I might actually end up filming tomorrow. Um, so stay tuned, I'll have new content coming to explain what the changes are with BoxyCharm and why I actually decided to get another subscription. Um, I'm not stopping BoxyCharm, I'm gonna keep doing that, but there are some changes. So stay tuned for that. Um, and with that, that is our BoxyCharm base box for October. So you guys have a great night, great day. I'm probably going to put this up on Sunday. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.